What's going on, people? Welcome to this week's episode of the Flex Rant Show, man. It's been a it's been a sick week. It's been a sick week. Two banana skins. Yeah. More so the Palace one we was looking at as like a potential banana skin. So many injuries. And um, there's a lot. There's a lot to talk about. Bruv, there's a, a lot game, to talk that about. That Palace game was, bruv. What a game. What an atmosphere, bruv. We got the best fans. We got the best fans in the fucking country. <laughs> I was gonna say the league, but fuck the whole country, you know, like. People can question Old Trafford, but I tell you what, yeah, the away fans, different gravy, different fucking gravy. From bro. the minute one to the end, like, yeah. to the streets afterwards. <laughs> like, yeah, but this is it. It's just mad. Bro, we were outnumbered and we didn't hear them. Mm. For 90 minutes, we didn't hear them. Mm. We were like, the bro, different gravy, man. Anyone mm. that was at the away game, man, and just the away fans in general, fucking mm. legends, you lot. And that's, that's important to highlight that, because for a lot of you guys, we know you guys are watching from all over the world. Mm. And the reason why you like watching what we do is because we bring you closer to the action yeah. um, than anyone else and get you in there and can, you can see. So it's important to highlight how strong the away support is. The, yeah, the atmosphere at Old Trafford is, is, is quiet a lot of the time. Certain sections that are the diehard sections or the singing sections that really get it going. But by and large, yeah, there's a lot oh, of first time goers. But away is completely different, man. Completely different, man. It's amazing, isn't it? And as you said, we're bringing everyone closer to the action. Mm. Like, we're fans just like you guys, isn't it? Like, mm. so, like, there's the connection there. So, like, what we feel, then we're just bringing you into it. And it was, mm. like, the, it was the scenes. <laughs> the scenes. <laughs> we got, uh, someone spotted me and you, actually, on the video. Yeah, yeah, I, it, what was it? What, it, it was, it was in, an account. It's yeah, a big it account. United, yeah, man, MUFC Chance or Chant, something like it. that. Michael Carrick follows them as well yeah, on, yeah. on Twitter. I saw Carrick's active mm. like he follows all the big united accounts and that like all the fan accounts and it's mad yeah you like spotted, cause. bro like their people were just atting us <laughs> yeah. there we were at the front like it was so noisy it was yeah, it was sick. immense man let's 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 talk about that game um because that's how we always start the flex around show by looking by the previous week 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 of games yeah. we've been lucky enough to have two this week since we last done the show um it, very difficult game on paper you know yeah. palace fresh off you know beating um New, uh, leicester 4-1 could have been a very difficult game but the way we managed that game and the way we were so comfortable for long periods, raced into a 2-0 lead um, and the, the, the grit after conceding at 2-1 to then go on and get the third and kill the game, it was, it was good, innit? it? It was fantastic. It was, and we saw um, Oli's in-game management. Absolute masterclass from Oli, man. Do you know what I mean? And a lot of people have said, um, oh, it's too early to start um, judging Oli as a manager. Listen, yeah, you don't understand the game. If you don't see the amount of times that Oli's made a change in the game mm. and changed the whole complexion of the match and won us games mm. countless times. That game there, Dallow on the right wing was a master stroke. Mm. Like between him and Ashley Young, yeah, Wolf Zaha did not have a sniff. Mm. Do you know what I mean? He knew that that was their strong side, the mm. left side, and he doubled up on them, man. And on the break, Dallow was just like breathtaking, mm. bro. Like, and that's down to Oli. No one would have thought to play him there because. I mean, if the last guy was there, a man like Sm uh, Snoreen, blood, we would have never seen that. No, we would have never seen never, that. Never, and it would have been sticking to those guns to try and see it out. And what I did like, you, you're right, with that game, I think Ashley Young, Luke Shaw had a good game, we'll, we'll touch on that. Yeah. Ashley Young, I'm sure you don't want to hear that. Um, Ashley Young wasn't able to go forward as much in that game um, mm. before Oli made the change, because obviously it's Saha, he's on stuff, and he, and he was trying to, but he did, he did defend pretty well, and he put his hands up for the goal that yeah. Crystal Palace did score, because he should have just cleared it. But he stuck to his guns and then Oli kind of looked at it and thought, right, what's the best way? We're 2-1 here. They were getting a couple of shots oh, and then to, and he just thought, right, I'll back, just bring bro. on Eric. I think he took off a yeah. Lexus. Yeah, we switched the five at the back. Do you know and Delok came on as well and that was it. Three at the back, yeah. do you know what I mean? And then yeah. Ashley Young pushed forward, ended up playing as a full, but ended up scoring the goal. Mm. Wing back, yeah. Yeah, and that is... Oli tactical masterclass. Reactionary, looking yeah. at it for what it is, working out what needs to change, the best way to get us to get the result. And even before the game, I have to say this, before the game, there was the media in the press conference were saying, Oli, obviously you've got a lot of injuries, tough game at Palace. He just went, listen, we've got injuries. This yeah, is Manchester yeah. United, we've got enough. fantastic players. We'll have 11 players on that pitch ready to fight. And that's what we saw. Because um, I know it was... Like two games ago now. I don't want to spend too much on the Crystal Palace game, but one person who did have a very good game, obviously Lukaku with the two goals on the right foot, and then we're gonna we'll, we'll talk about him last because he's gonna feed into the last game, which was against Southampton. Mm. Luke Shaw had a very good game against um, Palace, and in your fan cam, and obviously to me off camera as well, you were saying, Flex, I just want to see this guy doing this more often. Yeah. It's not an agenda I have against him. It's because I know that the guy can play like this, but I don't see it often. Yeah, but the thing is, like, there's never been an agenda in it. Like, I know Mark plays on it because, like, <laughs> he just likes getting clicks in it. But, like, everything I've said about him is factual, bruv. Do you know what I mean? And yes, he did have a good game against Crystal Palace. But as I said, yeah, like, the assist that he got 
Not only did Lukaku have a lot to do, but bruv, that was the only time in the game that he picked up the ball and he ran with it. And that's because he had no other choice. Mm. If there's an easy ball on the inside, nine times out of ten, he'll just pass it inside. Like, he's not brave. Do you know what I mean? And I think that comes from him being scared of being tackled because of the injury. I think that he's mentally shackled himself. Like, mm. the Luke Shaw that we bought, the attacking fullback that we spent 30 million quid on, yeah? Like, we're not seeing that right now. Like, everyone's saying, yeah, he defends well. That's cool, isn't it? But in a modern day game, when you're playing inverted forwards, you need width outside. You see it with Tottenham, you see it with Liverpool. Liverpool had a game where their fullbacks got five assists between them. Mm. Like, Luke Shaw has something like, I think, five assists in his whole Premier League career, bruv. Like, that's not good enough. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So, like, it's not me being harsh on him, it's me knowing the demands of the modern game. Mm. Like, and the demands of our club. And the demands of our club. Do you know what I mean? And that's all it is. So, like, mm. I know a lot of people got a soft spot for him, but mm. I don't have an emotional attachment to any of these players, bro. Like, if they're not, if they're not doing it, then I'll say. And if they are mm. doing it, I will say. Yeah, like, yeah. Luke Shaw had a very good game that game. And in the following game, he, I thought he was trash. Um, the last game um, against fucking Southampton. I thought he was poor. So he like, was trash. Bruv. Like, I don't think he was. I don't think, I don't think he was amazing, but he wasn't as good we, as against Thing. But I don't think he, he had yeah, a bad he, game. Like they got down the outside of him too many. Ashley Young was worse. Yeah, Ashley Young was terrible. <laughs> like Ashley Young was terrible. No, when I, I thought Luke Shaw had a decent no, no. game against Southampton. Nah, he definitely should have blocked the shot. You know what I mean, De Gea mm. should have saved it arguably, but mm. he should have closed my man down. Mm. You don't run face man up with your hands behind your back and then turn your back. Mm. Like you don't do that, innit? You mm. put your body on the line. You block the shot. Like what are you doing? Like mm. that's your job, innit? And I feel like the difference between him. And other players is he's a reactive he's a reactive player like he's very good at being the second guy to clean up and sweep and that like he reacts to danger mm. but he doesn't see it do you know mm. what I mean and that's the difference between like the top level players and the good players is the top level players see danger see things mm. and they put fires out before they start and that does that you lot. see what I'm yeah, saying yeah. that's what Virgil does yeah. and then you've got the reactive players that because they've got pace yeah. they, they can, can get out of trouble they can yeah. get out of trouble innit and I think that that's where he is defensively mm. but attacking wise like I think that he only gives us um, a 6 out I, of 10 I, I think it's important to remember this as well yeah even Ollie said it and yeah. I said it in my um, well, he said in what review I said. he said he's Everyone. got two gears to go up and that's what I yeah. said and I tweeted yeah. that and yeah. you can go and look on Twitter I said Luke Shaw's got two gears to go up and I said mm. that before Ollie said it yeah. but you lot think it's an agenda but when Ollie says it now all of a sudden it's gospel mm. no like there's no agenda I don't have no agenda with none mm. of these players bruv I say it how I see it in it and the numbers actually agree with me bruv mm. do you know what I'm saying and we go to the game and we watch the game bruv like the Crystal Palace game he had acres of room yeah, on that and you want to see that you just want to see that you more often you want to see him bombing on mm. like I want to see him stand, facing up his opposing fullback taking them down the outside and putting crosses in mm. James Milner when we played Liverpool was going past Luke Shaw on the outside bruv Luke Shaw didn't go past him once mm. do you see what I'm saying like he will always pass the ball inside even mm. the Lukaku assist he passed it inside instead of going down the outside mm. and he always he doesn't does actually want to come inside a he lot does, and I don't really know why yeah I don't like, know why. Why do you not want to go down the outside? Whereas when Dallow gets the ball, he's trying to step over it and take it outside and get a crossing. Mm. That's what Luke Shaw well, should be. For me, I just the way I see the Luke Shaw thing is this. I see that there's a player in there. So I, I get fr I get frustrated that I don't see it regularly enough, yep. which is why I get frustrated because I know the player's in there. Yep. I still think there's more to come from him and Way there's more. so many positions in our team that I would look at other than left back. I don't want him gone. I don't want him I, gone. Yeah, I don't exactly. think he should be replaced. Yeah. I just think that just these, these guys are praising my man for bog standard shit that man is supposed to be doing. We're yeah. Manchester United. Don't be praising players for 7 out of 10 performances. Like, I'm not trying to hear that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? We don't praise players for that. Mm. Like, this season, we haven't seen many 9 out of 10s and when we do see them, it's usually from Paul Pogba. Do you know what I'm saying? Or Victor Lindelof or Herrera. Or, something. or Ander Herrera. Like, but do you know what I mean? Like, these men are not man are, man are praising Luke Shaw for an eight and that. Like, mm. eight's good, but we're Manchester United. Man are supposed to be putting in eights every week. Yeah. Well, if he, yeah, if he puts in eights every week, yeah. then you've got to give him praise. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. he's not. But yeah. that's my yeah, thing, yeah. though. Man's supposed You're to be putting from a in six eights every to week. Yeah, yeah, like, it's a fluctuation. And the thing is, he's hit form now, but mm. man's base level needs to be higher than it is. With. With now, yeah, because, okay, I'm going to say this as well, because I think that now is a properly fair time to fully judge Luke Shaw, though, because this is what I mean with that. Okay, the injury thing, I get that. It's, he's had a lot yeah, of setbacks. No, but hold on, this, this is what I mean. No, no, the, the in, hear me out, hear me out. The injury thing is one thing, yeah? He had to overcome that. That's cool. I'm not saying that's why we should have a soft spot. I'm saying he has to overcome that. Then, you, then, you're, then you're getting Jose, yeah, with the tactics and the way that we play. With Oli now... And, he, and he's, 
Luke Shaw is injury free. He's completely fit. He's 100% fit now, so there could be no question marks. And now we've got a manager who plays attacking football. I get that. And he's got, got a run a in the team. So now manager. is the time to fully, we've fully judge manager. him. If we've you don't make it now, he's never going to make we've it. We've got a manager that plays attacking football and he still rarely attacks blood. So you know it's down to him, not the manager. Well, Oli said it himself. What? Oli that's said, I want to see him drive Two gears players. up. So that's the challenge. That's Oli what I'm saying. This is the challenge. He's got the ball at his feet. He's got pace. You know what I mean? He's got good balance. He could do more going forward. Oli's telling him to do that. He's shackling himself, bro. And the thing is, what gets on my nerves the most is the same empathy, yeah, and oh, give him time, give him time, bruv. He had the same injury that Anderson had, blood. You man didn't give Anderson time. As soon as Anderson came back and he wasn't having good games, we bought him as a as a Champions League proven, like, wonder kid, yeah. He had a bad injury, just like Luke Shaw's broke his leg, and you man didn't give him the same patience. Valencia broke his leg twice, blood. And he didn't come back the same player. You man didn't give him the same patience. Like, we've given this Donny now. He broke his leg three years ago, blood. Do you know what I mean? So, like, I just want to see my man produce what I know he can produce mm. week in, week out, bruv. Like, there's no room That's for sentiment. That's the challenge for him. That's there's the no challenge. room for sentiment in football, blood. Like, we're Manchester United. We need the best players, blood. It's not about, oh, like, I feel sorry for man. Nah. Mm. Like, that's not how, that's not how business is operated, blood. Do you know what I'm saying? We want to win things. We want to be back where we were. So man's going to compare him to Patrice Ever and Dennis Irwin. I'm not comp comparing him to fucking, like, Quinton Fortune, blood. Mm. Do you see what I'm saying? Brand new contract. So that's all I want to see, yeah, bro. Like he's I'm, got, he's I'm got to prove it. I just think it now, it's the same yeah, it's everyone. the same thing. Yeah, it's the same with everyone. It's the same with Lukaku. It's the same with fucking everyone. It's the same with bloody um, one matter. It's the same with all these players. All these men need to show week in week out a certain level of consistency, bro. And right now, yeah, it's improving. But there's a lot of men that still like there's more in there from them. The key word there is improving. There you go, and that and that is the key thing for now. He has the chance now. You're, there's no excuses. He can't hide nowhere. Like, like, that's what I meant in terms of the injury, in terms of it was a while ago, so it's done and dusted. Mourinho's gone. The negative football's gone. You're under a manager who fully believes in him, which Oli does. Mm. He's given him all the game time he needs. He's the number one starting left back. Yep. And so this, is it, this, this is, is it now. This is it. This is it. Just got to do it consistently. Remember, done a double cruciates as well, bruv. Yeah. Came to United and still lit up the whole exactly. of Europe. So there's, no, there's nowhere to hide. Like Injuries are a part of football. Like I understand there's a psychological thing, but... At the end of the day, bruv, man, man can't keep talking about the injury. Yeah, no, nah, that's, that's, that's done. Do you know what I mean? Moving on uh, into the Southampton game slash away from the Palace um, game as well, Lukaku, because he's a player that not just me and you give heavy criticism to. We, we, we were not, we, look, me and Ranch, you know we're not flip-flops. We're not about to say here and say Lukaku's the best thing since sliced bread. We've always said he was, yeah? Yeah. Um, two very good goals against Palace. Two... Even better goals, in my opinion, I don't against. Know about um, two very good goals. I think the second goal was <coughs> was just typical. Like he should do that. Do you know what I mean? For the size. He's done well he to kind of that. pin the guy. The first goal, rotate. The first goal was well taken on his right foot. Well taken. The second goal, he just bullied the guy, innit? Mm. Like because he's a bigger guy. The first goal was very well taken, innit? And like I said um, on my channel as well, on my last video, like Rum, you can see that he's been practicing, and Oli said that he always practices finishing. Mm there's never really been question marks of, over his ability to score goals if he gets chances. Mm. The question mark has always been about his overall game, which yeah. is atrocious. And it still was against and, Southampton. And it was against Let's not forget Trump. that. And against Crystal Palace, bro. Yeah. Man were calling for him to be subbed in the first half, blood, in yeah. both games. Is that the most frustrating <laughs> thing about him, though? Because you're right, especially Southampton, those guys around me, because he missed the... He missed the sitter from a couple of yards. Mm. To be fair, the first shot he had, the keeper saved. All right, mm. cool. Then he missed one from about three, four yards. Then there was one where he missed time the header. Yeah. And then there was a couple of um, well, instances of, of, of losing the ball like he does. Exactly. Yep. But then if a striker goes and does that with his weaker foot, it just makes it even more frustrating because it's like, I want the complete package. But we're never going to get that with yeah. him, in it? We, yeah, have to, we have to accept, and I've accepted, yeah, and yeah. I said, he's just a finisher, that's it. Yeah. So he's the kind of player in a position to that, do that you bring on with 20 minutes to go, like, and you just say, you know what, get the ball in and around him and hopefully he'll, pin so he'll get something. Mm. Like, if everyone's fit, I'm not starting this guy, bro. Mm. For the well, hold that, hold that thought. Hold yeah. that thought right there because yeah. there's some questions that we're going to do later. Yeah. So hold that thought, yeah, in terms of... Yeah, yeah but yeah. I think that his finishing's improved. He scored three goals with his right foot. Mm. And as I've said previously, it's beautiful because he doesn't trust his right foot. So you see the concentration and the precision in the strikes, but mm. he's passing the ball into the goal. Mm. With his left foot, he's snatching at them. That's the, weird in, as well, in, isn't in it? In the yeah. Southampton game, 
They said that it was a great, it was a great, it was a great shot at the first. No, it wasn't a great save. Lukaku kicked the ball into the floor, blood, and it took the pace off it. Mm. That's why the keeper saved it, and then he missed a point, point blank right effort as well. But the right foot, he's just opened up his body, he's passing it, and because mm. he's got the natural power because of the size of him, you don't need to smash at the ball, bro. Mm. Just pass it into the goal. And he, look, he's showing he can finish. I think what it does show with Lukaku is. Because let's not get it twisted. I'm not trying to pick out the negatives. It's not an agenda. I'm saying what his performance was. We saw the good and the, or the rubbish of him in one game. That's what it was. And I think keep him between the width of the 18 yeah. in central areas. He's dangerous. That's where he's going to cause this. And don't give him too much time to think. Let him swivel on a he's chance. Slide him in. Ball. When you try and play the link up play, we know it doesn't work. Yeah. And it's never going to work. You know, there's questions that we've got to answer later. So I don't want to talk too much about it. But... It's not going to work in terms of the touch, the hold up play. But that's that's why never I, going that's to why improve. That's why I never gave him man of the match against Crystal Palace. Because he's oh. Jekyll and Hyde, bruv, yeah. in games. Yeah. I gave it to McTominay, blood. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? McTominay's blood. McMayo. I told you, I gave it to him, bruv. sweet chilli sauce, bruv. Yeah, <laughs> in that game, because man, he didn't play well against man, uh, man Southampton. Like, man like Sergio Biscuits, blood. That's what he is, man. Mm. Just biscuits, re really, mm. Like, he did his... Um, he did his thing in that game, bro. He yeah, controlled he the midfield. He kept it simple. And they caught up with him against Southampton, yeah. weren't it? He read the play, done everything. Like, Lukaku was Jekyll and Hyde in that game. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And that is my biggest problem. For us to, to mount serious title challenges and stuff like that, man can't have him breaking up play mm. like eight times out of ten when the ball gets to him mm. and then the two out of ten he scores and everyone forgets. Mm. I can't forget mm. because team chemistry is unbalanced and fluidity is unbalanced when the play keeps breaking down when it gets to him. Do you see what I'm saying? So, mm. with that in mind... I appreciate what he is, bruv. Like, he's a finisher. Mm. His numbers say that. Mm. Do you know what I mean? The guy's a finisher. If you get the ball in the mixer, mm. he'll put the ball in the goal. Which but we have always said. Yeah. If we had wingers who stayed wide and just crossed the ball someone like Lukaku, yeah. he would get goals. Top, Under Oli, more attacking football, he can get goals. We did but say at the this. Top, top level, that's not enough. Yeah. That is the reason why Chicharito got sold by us. The reason why. Um, Fergie got rid of um, Van Nistelrooy yeah, when Ronaldo came in is that we knew we've been playing for Rude and in order to have a more fluid attack here yeah, like, it wasn't going to work bro because Ronaldo kept checking back Rude was getting angry because he wanted the ball early mm. when you've got finishes in your team you have to play to their strengths and I feel like Lukaku is not good enough for us to build a team around him mm. like he's not good enough he's not a Lewandowski bro mm. he's not I just, I, I just think you can't the same way you can't flip flop um, because He's done well, which we yeah. would never do. You can't also flip flop the guys at home because I've had a few people um, kind of message me. Oh, where was he? Look, look at Lukaku. And I always said he was good, but hold on, it's two games. Yeah. And it's two games where we've still seen the link-up play be poor. We've still seen yeah. the connection between the midfield and attack be poor. But he's well. taking the chances very well. Which listen, can't take that away from fantastic. I, the, look, the, the four finishes, like three finishes, especially with the right foot that he's done, fantastic. And listen, the last to do that in the last minute is some mad confidence, but I think it highlights his strengths and his weaknesses. And we know what his weaknesses are. And, I think and like you said, they're never going to get better. I think he's got more weaknesses than strengths, yeah. which is why he's not a Manchester United level starting player. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because Rashi's got his own weaknesses as well, but I think that he's got way more strengths. I think, do you know what though? I have to say, in terms of a starting player, maybe not week in, week out, but I think in moments when he's in good form, I think you can start him. Who, I think bro? you can. Yeah, I think you can. I yeah, think you can always start him, because bro, I think because now he's, he's doing all right. Player, yeah, but I think yeah, exactly. So he can yeah, always step up to the plate. You can always start. But him. I think he's got enough about him when he's in good form. I, I trust him in the eighteen in the eighteen yeah, box. But I, I do. But, but we just still have to over thirty eight games, him, I wouldn't make bro. him my main guy. Yeah, we still have to get the ball to him. He was the nine on his back, but he wouldn't be my main guy. Is no, what I'm saying. Nah, yeah, yeah. What yeah, I'm yeah. saying. Okay. Like, do you know what I mean? I'd use him. I thought you meant you just don't want to ever start him. You only want him to be a sub. No, no, no. I'd use him like United use Solskjaer and like United used um use Teddy, bro. Like they man come in and out. Yeah, you can. Start against the Palace, lower Southern, league teams yeah. away from home, yeah. He's a brute, he's a handful. You play him, mm. do you know what I mean? But against like the likes of Arsenal and that, I want to see how he performs in that game because mm. against the top teams, he, he, so far for us, we ain't been able to rely on man. Mm. Another yeah. person who proper uh, impressed me um, against Palace and against Southampton when he came on, Diogo Delot. This guy, with okay, do we have a bit of um. A, a good headache in terms of okay we've bought him as a right back wanted to feed him as a right back but hang on a minute right wing you're all right cuz I'm, I'm playing him right <laughs> I'm playing him right wing because yeah. Dallo clearly used to be a right winger mm. and he's been moved backwards yeah and like I said online bruv when I was trolling these man yeah like the sure it's blood Dallo is what you think Luke Shaw is blood he is he is Dallo is a world class 
talent and a potential world class player. He's got that ceiling, bro. The way he goes past players, effort. <laughs> At Palace, yeah, he, yeah. Come, he was on our side. Yeah. I remember he just done a couple quick step overs, step over, whip, touch, whipped touch, it, and Pogba should have scored. Gone, yeah, and whipped it in, and bro, <laughs> like he does that from right back as well, blood. Because when he's playing right yeah. back, he gets the ball and he dribbles past four men. Mm. That is the kind of man that excites mm. me. This when I think about Manchester, straight off. I think about that. Like yeah. no long thing, yeah. Mm. Straight down the byline, mm. eat the guy. And you know what? When he come on against Southampton, what did he do? Mm. Got the ball from Ashley Young, went past the man, whipped it, put it on Rashford's head when Rashford yeah, should have scored from five scored yards. That. Like he's out here doing this. Like we've been screaming out for someone who can beat a man and cross the At ball. Nineteen, he's impacting games. Yeah. Blood. Impact. Straight away as well. Media impact, yeah. bro. Like when Ronnie yeah, come on away. on his debut and was just chopping man against Bolton, yeah. yeah. That's what Dallo was doing at yeah. 19. That's the, that's the level I'm talking about. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? That is the level I'm talking about. Like the guy is a worldy talent. Mm. Like it's, it can't even be. As soon as Alexis went he changed off, the game changed. twice. Yeah. Twice, two games in a row from from the bench. So man's just coming on and just eating guys. My starting eleven. Natural instinct is just to kill man down. On the way up there, when I done my road trip, I said. Yeah, the team news, rare, rare, it could be this, it could be that, etc. I would go. I said I would I would start him right wing. I was surprised Sanchez kept his place. I would have start I would have I would have taken him out. I would've I would have put the the uh, Arsenal, right wing. I'm starting him right wing. Mm. I am. I don't mm. care. You know what I mean? Play him on right wing. Mm. That's it, play Lukaku down the middle, um, Rashford on the left. Mm. Calm. Have to talk about this guy, uh, being a forgotten man a lot of the time, Pereira. Fantastic goal. First half against Southampton, he was poor. He, was awful, he gave the wall away. Man, that Confidence. And eight. then he went into the central area and he was just behind um, the strikers as well. Yeah. Kind of played as a 10 as well. Bruv. And How long have I been saying it? Brilliant. How long have I been saying he's an 8, blood? Mm. How long have I been saying it, bro? Too long. Mm. The fucking snoring tried to turn him into a 6. That's what he does. And he said, oh, Pogba would make a good centre-back. That guy should never manage a football club again. He's a disgrace. He's a fucking disgrace, blood. Do you know what I mean? Trying I to take sublime no shots at little football. subliminals at Pogba there's again no as well. football I dislike more than him, bruv. Mm. That guy, like, ruined my my experience as a fan to a level that I've never felt, blood. To the never I didn't even want to go to games mm. anymore. Do you know what I mean? I had a ticket and still didn't want to go. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's never happened. <laughs> you know what's so funny about this is we started on one topic and it's just <laughs> Rance just had Bro, to get out of his chair. Um, like, I you've been feeling that. that for a hot minute. Bro. Yeah, I can tell you've gone on for... Actually, fuck you, Moran. You actually made me hate going to football. Bro, like, you and you're a football man. So for you to go, I don't want to go. Bro, I didn't want to go, <laughs> blood. And look, I told man about Andreas Pereira. I told them. Yeah. I told is it is it just Andreas. a not lucky half? I don't want to just like take no, away what he's Andreas done. Are we getting ahead remember of ourselves? When or? man bins that free kick in preseason, yeah, I told man about cool. Andreas the Techers. Yeah. Bro, I said it, bro. And this, that's why it's mad. Like, man dropped my video today, and I said, Andreas Pereira is the perfect replacement for one matter. That's mm. who he is, blood. Mm. You get rid of one matter, you don't give him the 170k. You say, Andreas, you're going to be our impact guy further up the field, blood. Because that guy can cross. You mm. can play him on the right, on the right the as well, yeah. And the left, blood, because he's got feet. You can cut in and whip it, like yeah. on a Coutinho thing, blood. Bro, he's got it. Mm. Andreas is a baller, man, so I'm very happy for him. Lindelof and Smalling again, looking solid. Because, look, Southampton scored two worldies. Apart from that, we were very comfortable. Bro, man was saying we were lucky. Shut up, we weren't lucky. No, Southampton really. were lucky. Mm. Because how many times... In football, does your right back score a 25 yard screamer, yeah? And then your midfielder or sticks in, score bins. a 25 yard top yeah. bins. To be fair, he's capable of he that. He is capable but of that. But it doesn't happen but often. If yeah. he took that free kick, yeah, Ten 20 times, times yeah, yeah, in that five. game, blood, he'd probably get it over the wall three times. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's how it is. Because even David Beckham yeah. was the master of free kicks, blood. And, but he, he didn't, didn't score, score like, He didn't score one yeah. every game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, yeah, he might yeah. score eight a season, yeah? Put it this way. With free kicks, you miss more than you score bro, all the time. With free kicks, so. you'll miss 99% of them, bruv. Like, really? Do you know what I mean? When you look at free kick percentages for, like, the top free kick takers and that, bruv, mm. if it's 10%, it's yeah, that, great. That's, that's fantastic. That's amazing. And it's very, it's, you know, it's very interesting to, to so remember that. Lucky, because I, I do think it wasn't like... We, this is what I liked, not liked about it, but kind of took the positives from. It wasn't like we got peppered and like the chances we gave up were we went to sleep and they, the tap-ins or we, where was the defence. Like you said, it was two worldies, but that can happen in a game and you still got to have the mentality Bro, to go after it. And it the three goals we scored well, as a team got, were fantastic. Bro, it showed the mental strength and the belief in the camp yeah. and the togetherness because... They could have easily turned around at 2 2 and said, You know what, guys, it's not our day. Like, Lukaku's missed about four chances. Mm. Rashford missed that fucking free header. Mm. And we were playing yeah. poorly in the first and, half. And we weren't playing we were great. Playing and we've missed about six chances. We should have been yeah. 2 0 up in the first 10 minutes. Yeah. So, because we weren't, 
And another day, under Snoreen, man, I'm going to say, oh, you know what, it's not our day. Like, guys start head down, do you know what yeah. I mean? And they kept the plugging when they've been there. away, bruv. Do you know what I have to say? We haven't spoken about him in this show. Pogba, yeah? What I've liked about his performances in the last three or four games yes, is think. we're seeing a different side to him yeah. because I think he's, he's looked at it and gone, I can't go and do what I normally do because Matic and Herrera, Herrera I don't allow me to do it. And I'm playing with people who haven't, who are either A, Scott McTominay, who haven't had much game time at all in their career, yeah. or B, people like Pereira and Fred who can play and have gone and got first in football, but, their confidence, but their confidence is down, haven't had many games. And I've seen the different side to his performances in terms of positionally, organisationally, oh, allowing Paris, others to go and run the game. He was winning slide tackles, bro. Yeah. Like, he didn't break forward until and the last Liverpool. 10 minutes of the game. Yeah. yeah, and Liverpool. Very disciplined, which is a good string, people, oh, string to his bow. all these casual fans would be like, oh, he had a quiet game. Mm. A man will giving him sixes and sevens out. Like, bruv, you're taking a piss. Like, what was it? What game was it? Um... The Southampton game. I think Mark gave him a six or something. Mm. It was never a six, bro. It was never a six. Without Pogba, we don't win that game. Pogba's the one that was disciplined and sat back that allowed Andreas mm. to run forward and create the two goals. Mm. He scored one and created one. And that shows a level of maturity and yeah. leadership, which a lot of Man some that, fans have said have. he's not this and he's not that. And I don't, I don't want to keep going back to the virus thing because there's still some fans who will never change their mind and will always have that whole down to bullshit in their head, which that's, that's up to you. I've moved past your way of thinking. I never was a part of that. But I think you can't argue that if you're not going to go and impact the game and you know be on the edge of the box, linking up, doing this, doing that, having pop shots, doing this, he's taking a different role. And I like that. I well, like that, especially in a time when we need it because without Matic and Herrera, Especially in the first half against Southampton, I was thinking, we're really missing these men. It showed, not only did it show maturity, but you see the selflessness that he's shown. People calling him a selfish player. Yeah. Like, bullshit. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Because if Pogba was selfish, he could have said, you know what, fuck it. I'm still going to do my I'm thing. I'll leave you, man. Game, yeah. And we would have lost both <laughs> And you games. play yours. And left McTominay exposed. Yeah. Left Pereira struggling with confidence there. Because they didn't have a good first half. They struggling to keep the ball. You know, McTominay caught up with him as well. Listen, let's go into the... Uh, the questions because I love I love this bit of the show. Yeah. Do you know what? We had over a hundred questions. That's mental. <laughs> That's mental. It's crazy. First one, Lee Chappy, aka Jamie Vardy. Yeah. <laughs> um, make sure you check out his content um, and check him out on Instagram as well. Um, sorry, uh, Twitter, Lee underscore Chappy, Jamie Vardy look alike, you know what he's like. Um, he said who's up front um, for Flex and the United Stand FC? I think he wants to get involved. Bruv, you can get involved, but obviously, bruv. I'll take it my spot. Bruv, it's ranting our blood up front, <laughs> blood. I'll flex this story, bruv, but you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying. So, <laughs> like, it is what it is, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? What, what, we got one in one each, blood. Do you know what I'm saying? Man got 100% strike record at the moment. So, like, this partnership ain't getting broken up, bro. So... Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? Come to the trials days and we'll see yeah. if we can fit you in, Lee. Like, let us know. If you play in other positions, bruv, like, there might be a slot for you somewhere, like, do you know what I mean? But our strike partnership's solid, bro. Solid, bruv. Okay. Coldish duo, blood. On the net, bruv. No one can't see us. You know what it is. Um, OT Gunnar Solskjaer says, uh, do you see any chance of Alexis leaving in the transfer window? He's been talks. I haven't actually seen it confirmed. But some people on Twitter were saying he's injured for like six to eight weeks. I know it was ligament damage. Yeah. But I haven't actually seen anything yet. It depends yet. if it's first degree, second degree. But if it is six to eight weeks, yeah, like, I will. You know them ones there, bruv. Like, that's how it feels right now. Like, you know, honesty, bruv. Like, him playing actually hinders our performance. We've seen it. Both times he's been withdrawn, like, we've just turned it on, bruv. Like, he fucks with the team chemistry, something rotten. Do you know what I mean? So, um... We don't, we're not getting anything about, out of him, are we? talking about windows, blood. You know them ones there, blood. You can climb out the Old Trafford training window, blood. Get in the car, go home, blood. And it's all great. Thing is, is his wages are around. He's within his rights to sit there on all this money and go, I ain't going anywhere. Because realistically, no one's going to pay that wages apart from a Chinese team. So there was another question later on, so sorry to go over this, but it was, you know, can, can you see us being able to sell him and stuff? Like, to be honest... If only, only if a team in China comes in, no Premier League team's gonna gonna take him yeah, on them wages. Like, it's He's not gonna go abroad. I, it ha, in terms of like Europe and stuff, only Chinese teams are giving them wages, and I can see him just nah. Yeah, it's true, bro. It? I think he's got like two and a half seasons exactly. left. He's got a something. big contract on Bullshit. them big money, so we have to just keep trying to get something for our money. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, with current reports about Pochettino, uh, will, uh, is Pochettino's will to join United, would you take him over Oli at this stage? That's, I, I don't think we need to answer that. Next question, B. <laughs> yeah. but first of all, let me just pick up the guy who said it. I was, uh, at Martial mode, I think you've got a clear 
Um, answer to that question, we can big clearly see. Big up for the see. question, though, bro. Yeah, yeah big, big up for the question. But you can see our thoughts on that. Um, can you see Lukaku improving his hold up play touch for next season? No, absolutely not. I've I don't think if that. you can't improve it by what's he 26 now, bro, 25, you're not going to improve it. Too 24 late, blood. You see the basic fundamentals, yeah, in football, you learn them at a very young age, yeah. As you get older, what you learn comes from um, experience, bro. It comes from the brain, innit? Like, it comes from decision making and stuff like that, how to deal with pressure. All these things are in your head, however, like, um. The technical side of the game, the basic fundamentals of the game, you learn at a young age. So, like, no, he can't. Like, his balance isn't great. Like, his body shape when receiving the ball isn't great. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, that, no. Like, I don't think it will improve, no. But he'll always be a good goal scorer. Mm. I see. Wait, hey, yeah. you told him to <laughs> shut up, blood. Okay, um, Malik Ag says, line up for PSG. Let's go 1-11. Um... Usual back four. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I might, yeah, usual back yeah. five. Would bring in Bailly maybe or something? Just uh, that's what I was thinking actually. Yeah. I might just bring Eric in because, bruv, I don't expect us to, yeah. to come. We go don't really know injuries going I'd to play Arsenal. Eric, do you know what I mean? I might rest Lindelof to be honest. Like, mm. I might rest him because he yeah. needs a rest. Do Would you? Know you? What I mean? Okay, I'm going to ask you. To... <laughs> I'm not Would playing you? Jones. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know I was going to say? I'll play Bailly and Smalling. Would you not play Bailly and Jones just Bailly to keep Smalling. Lindelof and Smalling fresh? Bailly and Smalling, blood. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, that fuck Phil Jones, in it? Like, really? Give him a I game, like man. Dummy and centre back. Yeah, oh, yeah, and then, and then um, yeah. All right, midfield three. Better in the mind, obviously, Pogba's I'd not there. I'd play Fred, yeah. I would play Andreas, and I'd play. Um, yeah, I'd have to play McMahon, blood. If Matic is back, would you not give him no, some. No, 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 no. Matic needs to be fit for Arsenal, innit, okay. bruv? Like, I'm not risking anyone. I want to see Martial so back. So, if for Ferreira's Arsenal. back fit as well, you I'm just not wouldn't play him. him anyway. I don't care. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. look how they rushed Jesse back and he fucked him. Yeah. Don't rush no one back. Arsenal is the game, bruv. Like, that's the game. If we beat them, yeah. that's them out of sight now. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's how much this game means. I have to say, though, ov obviously, I'm, I'm with you on this in terms of I don't think we're going to win the game and go, or go through to the next tide. But a midfield three of Fred Pereira and McTominay away from home at PSG yeah, is... Yeah, but we ain't got no one better than them. <laughs> like, we ain't got no one better than them anyway. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, if Matic is even back, he's still not going to be 100%. Yeah. Don't make no sense, bruv. Like, that just to, worries me. I'm the, just like, oh, We have to play man. the hands we're dealt, innit? We're yeah. not going to get, we're not going to get like... A I just don't want to get embarrassed though, bruv. I'm not, not looking though, to get embarrassed, bruv. are not going to come out all gums blazing. They're 2 nil mm. up. They're going to come out at home and they're probably just going to ole us. <laughs> I'm honest. That's what, I'm that's what they're gonna do. But that's like, what I mean. I'm not looking not to listen. Out, I'm not man. looking to go there, Rance. Yeah, just to go sightseeing and just, well, I am actually because at the end of the day, we're not going to win. But I'm not Bro, looking to go get pumped for five going, nil. They're not gonna come out and say, "Yo, let's bust these man's heads." Like it's not like that. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I don't think it is. I think yeah. that. Do you know what I mean? We no, might, I hear you. I hear you. I think we could lose two you. one or something. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, it's yeah. Or another two nil. It's respectable. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I as long as it's that, I'm cool. Front three. Um, I'd play Rom. I would... There's talks of Martial just because he might need some game time. No, 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 I'm wrestling for Arsenal, blood. I play Rom, I play Dallo on the right, and I play Rashford on the left. Do you know what I mean? Like, I would do that. Okay. Maybe not, not start like a Chong or a bit much, in it. No, I'd bring him on, though. Yeah. Like, just for the experience. Yeah. Just to say, yo, you've played. Do you know what I mean? If we're losing, for instance, like 2-0 or something like that with 20 minutes ago, you might as well bring Chongy on. Yeah, like, yeah, what? exactly. Just you know let him I mean? taste it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um... Look, Arsenal fan here. Arsenal till I die. Um, look, this is the kind of fans we get watching, fans from all over, man. Yeah. Um, do you guys think Man United can finish third? Absolutely. Yeah, I Why already, not? I already called Why it. not? I already said we would finish third. You know mm. what I mean? I said it. Like, when Oli was on this run, I said third place is ours. I said Tottenham are going to get sucked in, and mm. they did. I, th look, there's previews coming for the Arsenal game, so look out for that. That's going to come later on during the week when I get back from Paris. But just quickly on that Arsenal game, I know you're very confident we're going to win. I know there's a lot of Man United fans confident we're going to win. I think we'll get the W, but that game is going to be a lot harder than the FA Cup one. Because you see the FA Cup one, yeah? I know Arsenal are Arsenal and it's our stumping ground and that, but they did lose Socrates. That's when it went all downhill. Yeah, but I don't care about that, blood. You know why? Because man made five changes and still beat them. Mm. Do you know what I mean? We didn't roll up there with Martial, Rashford and Jesse up front. Mm. So we would have slapped them six. Mm. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that's what would have happened, yeah. bro. Like, God forbid, yeah, anyhow this game comes across and Herrera, Matic, Pogba are all fit and Martial, these men are going to get 
bodied, innit? Mm. Like, I don't care. That, and that's another big thing. If Herrera and Matic are not fit for that game, yeah. that changes everything. That changes I everything. think even, but, even if just but, Herrera don't play, I yeah, think that changes everything. Yeah, but Quasimodo's not playing, bruv. Terea got yeah, sent off, blood. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, and big he's miss their for main them. guy, blood. That'd be like probably Zaka if and Gwendozi in there. Gwendozi and, and Xhaka, blood. I told man, my son Jerry Curl, Stephen yeah. Island, blood. That's <laughs> where he is, blood. I don't care. Like, we've got them, innit? Like, and Xhaka, bruv, I don't know what he is, bruv. Oh, Tabamia, your guy. <laughs> What's your brother say? Obama can't score blood clapping. Yeah, but, this is, <laughs> but this is it, blood. Bruv. You done the miss, you done the miss penalty one as well. Yeah, bruv. <laughs> Obama blood clot choked, blood. I'm telling you, when it mattered, I'm telling you. That's what I mean. You spend the big money. You cost 60 million pounds. You spend the big money on the big players yeah. to do things in the big moments. He yeah. did what Mo Salah does, but <laughs> That man choke when it matters. And you know what was funny? That man are tear B strikers. You know you, know you say are. you don't have the sentiment in football, yeah? yeah. Uh, some of the the fan cams for his DT and Mo and that they were like because they know that Aubameyang kind of watch them and they get yeah, a funny. they were like don't worry you ba keep your head up mate we're still supporting you fuck that bro it was a North London derby last minute <laughs> you have to score oh, fuck, even if that's job. Pogba even if that's Pogba I'm going nah Pogba bro nah not keep your head up bro you have to score there's no excuses bro listen I'm having a laugh here but players miss penalties I get that but nah 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 <laughs> I'm not just because I'm not when saying Harry that. When Harry Kane stepped up, we knew he was going to score. Yeah. That is the difference, blood. Yeah. And I told man he is a Gabonese Jamie Vardy, blood. <laughs> I told man, bruv, he's a tapping merchant, B. Like, this was when your team really needed you. Yeah. If he wasn't feeling it, yeah, if the badge was too heavy, you should have let someone else take it. I blood. don't want you to see this. You, this shit your, you shit your pants, mate. Do you know what I mean? And national TV, and it was beautiful. Rants. This is this no. is from no. It's not, yeah, he ain't even seen the question. Look at him. No, it's not a yes or no answer. All right, cool. um, Maria Borg eighty nine says, beat PSG three 0 and lose to Arsenal, or the other way around. I'm being Arsenal, mate. I want to secure that top four, secure it. Do you know what I mean? Because I believe, yeah, that it's written. Man are going to do something crazy this season. I told man, 20th anniversary of the treble. Oli with the 20 on his back. Oli in charge. We're going to do something crazy, blood. Mm. I think we're going to win the FA Cup. And I think we're going to finish in the top four as well, blood. I, I, For me, I echo that in terms of I would rather be Arsenal 3-0. Reason why, I hate to sound like a pessimist, but even if we did get past PSG miraculously... And then end up with Barca and get <laughs> slumped, blood. The, like, if we were think? to go later into the latter, latter stages, I, I, I think it's clear... We would get found out. We'd get, we'd get found out. So for that, and I think just for trying to be in the Champions League next season as well, yeah. this game's this game's a lot bigger. So for me, I'd rather be Arsenal. Trust me, especially with the recruitment, yeah. yeah. Oli would it would be good for Oli to have that so. Champions League football. Uh, this is an interesting question. An interesting question. This is from Ashcroft Joe. He says, "Are these injuries showing the lack of conditioning in pre-season, or is it a combination of bad luck and players pushing their bodies harder under Oli?" It is definitely um, a combination of the two. Mm. I said that we're working harder, we're running more, but that's down to the last manager. He had us playing this negative, pragmatic, fucking worry about the other team first, walking around the pitch football, blood. Mm. So all these guys' bodies aren't used to and it. They've got to adapt to this high exactly. pressure. And you've got to think it's all about muscle memory. Yeah? Your body gets used to doing a certain thing. And now these men are getting pushed beyond, mm. um, beyond the realms of what they're used to. So they're breaking down. Like mm. It's not the player's fault. It's the previous manager's fault that we're having all these injuries. But in Klopp's first season, the same thing happened. Mm with Liverpool yeah, yeah. but then it didn't happen the second season because these men are conditioned that's why Oli took them to Dubai and said yo we're doing another pre-season because mm. these men are not fit enough mm. and remember I said the last they 20 minutes say, yeah. of every game we were falling apart bruv yeah. we were like we were conceding chances conceding goals because we were blowing smoke after 70 minutes and yeah. teams were getting back into the game and it was only we do, they do look a lot fitter in terms of well finishing in, in, the game yeah, look when we scored the winners bruv in these last few games we're scoring late on but before that wasn't happening we were scoring early and then just getting over the line because we were slowing down at the end. So definitely a mixture between yeah, the two. Yeah. Uh, last question for the today's show. Um, Kofi Asamoah, thanks for this one. Good one. I'm going to read out the whole lot of it and you just see what you think of it on the top of it. Uh, opinion on uh, the future of Bailly. Does he need replacing in the summer? Already established we need a world-class centre-back. And as now for Victor is superior, which he is, if Koulibaly comes in and we keep Smalling and Jones, can you see Bailly leaving? Um, he, he is brilliant. Um, but by his, his injury prone, not doubting his quality, but we need consistency to win titles. Could you see I, Eric going in the I, summer? No, not in the summer. No, he's too good, bro. He's too good. Eric Bay is too good, mate. But now we know that Jones ain't going to go in the summer and Smalling ain't going to go in the summer. No, but Could I, he look I, at it maybe and think, you know what, I'm, I'm not going to be first choice centre back here? Maybe. Like, I think if Oli stays, 
then you yeah. could convince someone like that to stay yeah, and, and, and work at it. Time, man, Oli seems to favour fucking Jones and Smalling, the English lads. I think that might be a feeling thing. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Smalling's doing all right at the minute, but no, I just no, no. Smalling's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah attacking the ball yeah. in it. He's an old-fashioned centre yeah. back. He ain't got feet. Jones, I don't mind yeah. Smalling, but Jones. Bro, I detest that guy, bro, because yeah. he's got nothing. At least Smalling attacks the ball well. Yeah. Yeah, Jones he is. He wins trash. everything in the air, yeah. Smalling. Uh, Jones he's got is rubbish side. on the ground. He's rubbish in the air. He's rubbish at reading the game. He's rubbish at timing challenges. He's Shit, everything. Crap at everything. He's just built like a rugby player. That's the only reason why like, he has a football career, mm. Like, if I'm honest. So, like, really and truly, Bailly is technically good enough as a player, but I feel like... Feeling probably favor and Carrick probably yeah, favor Jones know. and Thingy over. I, I worry. I, I I actually think there is a chance he could leave he in the summer. Leave, but yeah. if he leaves and we get a get a cooler belly, yeah, bruv, yeah. Like I'll I'll like shed that, only yeah. one tear, blood, and then I'll get on with it. Yeah, listen. You know? I, I love Eric. I love his charisma. I love his antics. Yeah, I, I love when he plays yeah. as well. I want him to stay. Um, ideally, I would. I can't knock Chris Smalling because he's forming a good little partnership with Lindelof. But my first choice would have been Jones. to have. Yeah, and to have um, uh, Eric Bailly and, and Lindelof. But I do worry that he could go, do you know what? I need to play. I want to play. And he's good enough to, and he's good enough to he's play, play yeah, for someone. someone. So, there is, and, and, and it worries me because, exactly, because there's talks of him going to Arsenal. Exactly. And that's how you got to look at it because they could do with someone like Eric Bailly. They would take your hand off of him, yeah. and rightly so, because he's a great defender. We just haven't been able to see it. And, and do you know what, though? His injuries do worry me. His injuries do worry me. So... Yeah, on that, I, I think, to answer your question, I think there is a chance he could leave in the summer. I would hate to see it, but I do think there is a, uh, that he could. Listen, we've come to the end of the show. We've got PSG during the week. I'm going to be doing the vlogs out there in Paris, and I ain't going to lie to you guys. I'm going to say it right here, right now. Call me pessimist and say, come on, Flex. I'm more going to go to the Eiffel Tower um, to go and see Paris, yeah, do a bit of shopping. I was in Paris a few months ago. So uh, I'm going to get some places to go from you, actually. Yeah, because um, yeah. yeah. I've never been to Paris. I've been to France, but never been to Paris. Club shop as well, like PSG shops, wavy. Yeah. Like the stadium, you can walk around the stadium, like just around it. There's pictures all over it. Yeah. Like it's, it's, it's bad. Yeah, so yeah, because I'm, I'm not expecting to win the game. And my biggest thing for this is I just don't want to be embarrassed. I don't want to be getting a hide in 4 0, 5 0, because I think it can dent the players' thing. But I think. Um, but because of the players that are missing this game and that are injuries that we need to, to reserve players and prepare, if we were going to have a full strength team, I would be more like, oh, if we score in the first 20 minutes, you we never know. Full strength you know team, I mean? yeah, I would have thought we could nick something. Yeah, but there's no Pogba. We've got no Herrera at the minute for injuries. Matic, Martial come back from injury, no Jesse. Like, and these players need reserving because this game against Arsenal is so big. It's so big. So I'm not expecting anything out of the game in PSG. Um, but check out the vlog because you lot will love it. Um, Rant socials. Well, Rants and Bants on YouTube. Make sure you sub. Regular content. Boy, I got something up already that came out today. Well, yesterday by the time you see this. Um, at Rants and Bants on um, Instagram and Twitter for all your trolling needs. <laughs> I'm acting. And um, there's another show pending as well of United Stand, which is coming to you guys real shortly. Thursday. Um, yeah, Thursdays. Um, I'm Flex UTD as well across all the socials. Make sure you get at me on Instagram. Actually, I'm on the road to 10K, actually, so get there. Get, get me up to the 10K. Get me up to the 10K. Yeah, pluck, pluck, pluck. Um, and we'll see you guys same time, same place next week. Peace.